What is good COD haters, I mean battlefielders. This is Kuzu Ranger coming at you from Japan. Today I want to talk about the impact that vehicles have in this game. Now whether you're a fan of vehicle combat or not, I want you to consider this while watching. Are vehicles overpowered? So there are a few things I want to point out. Number one, I'm not particularly proud of this kill streak. If you don't already know this, I'm a soldier, a marksman, someone who takes pride finding the best position, killing with precise shots and outsmarting my opponent. I want to believe that skill determines who winds up dead and who gently but lovingly rub their balls on the other guy's face. So to put it simply, I want to earn my kills. And I earn nothing in this kill streak. I didn't face any challenge whatsoever. I happened to jump in the Viper with a random but fantastic pilot who was the whole key to my success. And all I had to do was point and shoot. Number 2. I'll admit I enjoyed the streak but only because it's incredibly rare for me to be in this situation. It resembles the self-gratifying glory I had when playing COD, all those delicious kills. Yet at least in COD there are set limitations to every streak. To me this felt like co-op mode killing wave after wave of enemies. I was so caught up in the mood of killing that I didn't even think about who I was playing against. Number 3. My opponents were obviously noobs. I don't mean that in a bad way. They were just low rank guys without a clue how to counter the choppers. They shot 3 rockets at us, never more than one at a time so we could always just fly away, heal up, and come back for more. Now what I like about Battlefield is that everything in this game has a counter. Yet the problem is much like with what happens with real life. The rich get richer while the poor get poorer. Yo, I'm a 50 cent wannabe so I just want to get rich and die trying, yo! No, no, stop it. The poor are the noobs who don't play this game every day. The poor are the guys who just want a quick join, shoot their guns, and find some action. Instead, they're welcomed by being base raped and trapped in a cycle of death. The rich are those with hundreds of hours played who continue to get better and better through practice. The rich know how to get the job done and often exploit the enemy's weaknesses. And vehicles are by far, come on, let's face it, the easiest way to abuse and exploit someone. So no matter what, a good pilot can and will almost always find a way to survive and be a killing machine, even if they have some tough competition. A good crew can easily rape, pillage, and conquer for an entire game if they work together. Vehicles like the Viper or Jets are fun for a change, yeah don't get me wrong, but not when they shape the outcome of the game. Vehicles should be backup support, secondary units that may throw down some firepower, but only in limited capacities. Number 4, which brings me back to the point I've said many times before. I will always prefer infantry combat to vehicle combat. There's just so much more satisfaction with gun-on-gun -gun kills for me than there is with commanding a destructive machine that rips players to shreds instantly. I just think that we have to limit the amount of vehicles and imbalances in this game. Let Conquest get all the vehicles and limit how many jets and choppers are in rush. Give us more stationary anti-air weapons so we don't have to play as engineer to defend ourselves. The slogan is play it your way, but maybe it should be changed to play it as an engineer or die. So now let's take a quick look at my stats. Look at there, 31 and 0. We're only on the first set of MCOMs. Now imagine what would have happened if I could continue this for the second and third set without being interrupted. Now what's going to happen here, if you look carefully, you're not going to probably notice it the first time, but I get killed. How do I get killed? What do you think? Did you see it? Here you go. Jet, explosion, teammate in blue. Now that guy in blue happens to be one of my closest gaming buddies. Part of me wants to ask him if he did that on purpose and part of me doesn't want to know because the mystery is kind of more exciting. So now I'm back to my favorite tank. Still a very powerful machine no doubt but at least it's one dimensional. It's a big loud target that can be taken out much easier. Honestly I don't feel dirty at all using it. Each team gets the same number of tanks in this map anyway so it's equally balanced unlike the chopper. The chopper is fun don't get me wrong but it's just too powerful. I mean all those cannon shots plus the driver going bananas with his rocket pods. Anyways, this has been some Viper footage that you likely won't see from me again. Thanks for watching guys. As always, leave your constructive comments below. Give me a sub and like if you enjoyed the content. Keep on trucking. This has been Kuzu Ranger. Thanks guys. Peace.